I can't believe it! Cassandra! Infected with the malady! Just like the Professor! Yes, but unlike Professor Longbottom, this time someone was there to see it happen. You were there. No, but the memory's still not clear. I remember walking down a corridor, talking to someone, and then we found Cassandra. That's it. If I could just remember who I was talking to... I believe I can help with that. You were the one I was talking to? <laughs> it was Gossamer who alerted me to your unfortunate condition. By the time we found you, you'd wandered back to the greenhouses and were trying to chat up a mimbula. Oh, um, sorry. No need to apologize. Now, if you wouldn't mind, Gossamer, please tell us what happened. <sighs> Astrid, what what did you do to Cassandra? Thank you, Gossamer. You may go. It just doesn't make sense. There must be something I'm forgetting. And you have Miss Cole to thank for that. Clearly, she doesn't want you to remember. But she was trying to help. All evidence points to Ms. Cole, does it not? Her curious wanderings, the secretive lab, the photographs, and then there's the matter of the plant she took. The one Cassandra was holding? Why would she take that? I don't know. What I do know is that plant wasn't Miss Vole's. It was meant for me. Hmm? I don't understand. It was one of those bloom-for-you plants that Mr. Thorne has been selling. He was hoping to get my recommendation, but the flower failed to bloom. Hmm. Miss Vole volunteered to return it to his shop. Hmm. Then Astrid took it. It must mean something. Perhaps. What do you know about Mr. Thorne's creations? Not much, except that Cassandra was obsessed with them. see what the problem is. I've got the money. Name your price. Well, I would happily take your galleons, my dear. I'm afraid crafting a bloom for you takes time. Plus, there's a waiting list, you see. A waiting list? Do you know who I am? When my father hears about this... I'll be right with you here. In a moment. In the meantime, be sure to check out our wide selection of seeds, fertile... My assistant can help you.
I see you're interested in starting a garden. Marvelous. Maybe. I have had some success growing things lately. Ah, uh, of course. You're the young student who rescued one of my ailing pufferpod plants. Tell me, how is it doing? Thriving, I hope. Better than expected, actually. I don't suppose you have any suggestions for how to, um, slow the growing process? Hmm. Well, you always could try a little aggressive pruning. Thanks, Mr. Thorne. And sorry about Cassandra. She can be rather intense when she's obsessed with something. Obsessed? Huh. Really? Brilliant. She said that. She did. Cassandra's really into herbology. I'm pretty sure she'd do anything to get her hands on one of those bloom for you plants. Hmm. I may have misjudged Miss Vol. got what she wanted. Ah! Don't be so pessimistic, Daniel. I'm just happy to be outside. I wonder what Mr. Thorne has in store for us today. Good afternoon! Today we'll be collecting plant samples as the very same ailment that has befallen our beloved Professor Longbottom. Mr. Hagrid has agreed to act as our guide as we descend into the darkest depths of the Forbidden Forest in search of our curious quarry. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yes, a mite too dangerous. Perhaps a nearby clearing then, if it's not too much trouble. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, all right, everyone. Gather your things. Don't forget your dragon hide gloves. And be careful where you step. What do you think you're doing? Uh, teaching? Is that not obvious? rather upset, doesn't she? I wonder what's wrong. Clearly, she's jealous that Mr. Thorne is actually doing something. Bobblehead charms? My goodness, whatever for? Fine, do what you want, but when more victims end up in the hospital, don't say you weren't warned. Astrid was very upset. But I don't think it had anything to do with being jealous of Mr. Thorne. I think she was worried about us. How so? Well, she did warn that there could be more victims. Are you sure that it was a warning? Or could it have been a threat? If I could just talk to her... An option she has sadly not given us. Perhaps it's time you accept that Ms. Cole is not who you think she is. That's enough for one night. We'll revisit this tomorrow. Hopefully a bit of rest will help restore your memory. Yes, Headmistress. doing Aww. sorry 
She didn't deserve this. I just wish I knew what happened. Aww. I don't suppose you know anything about the plant she had with her, do you? It was one of Mr. Thorne's bloom for you flowers. Uh. It's all right. I know it was supposed to be for the headmistress, but it didn't work. Cassandra was returning it to... <gasps> Wait! She didn't have anything to do with it not working, did she? Uh... It's not complicated. Mr. Thorne needs a hair to make his bloom for you flowers work. That's how it knows who to bloom for. He asked me to get one of McGonagall's, but I'm going to give him some of my hair. He won't know the difference. Ugh. You two can be so dense. The flower won't bloom for the headmistress. It'll only bloom for me. Astrid, where have you been? How could I have missed it? It was so obvious. What do you mean? What did you miss? Miss Vole was... a mistake. <laughs> Corby, wait! Hey, what are you doing? No more games. You're coming with me. 